Right, I'll tell you when it goes live, okay? okay. okay. <laughs> there you go. Hi there. I'm Lou Ann from Jelly Arts, and we have some really cool things to show you. So, awesome. things people have made with our, with our plates. So, first of all, we have this pair of jeans with patches on. We printed the patches, and then Joan has done some beautiful hand stitching to f attach the patches to the jeans. So, this is like a treasure <laughs> for us. We've got a, a plate here that we've glued some beautiful prints on the back of a glass plate and then covered it with some paint. And you ended, we ended up with this beautiful plate. Mm -hmm. And then we have these gorgeous books from our artist team that uh, Marsha and Bergen have made for us. So there are these beautiful bound books that are full of just spectacular prints. So we have some really- Oh, I love that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Leaves. I really like autumnal colors. Yes, yes. Oh. I mean, is one it? print is just more spectacular than the next. Yeah. So we have these books full of beautiful prints, and we have a little baby book here that's super cute. And then we have a book here that just shows prints that we've done over the ages that it's just fun to scan and look at all the different possibilities. Nice. Some beautiful cards that uh, Marsha has printed and then hand stitched on the edges, or machine stitched, I should say. So we've got beautiful cards. And then look at this spectacular book. That's awesome. Full of beautiful prints that Joan Best made. I love the made. textures in there. Look oh, and then, yeah, it just sort of seems through. Yes, it's just <laughs> really gorgeous. And then we have our little Barbie dress here. That's so we print. You can print on fabric, so you can see this beautiful pillow. Nice. And then we have these really fun prints with cats that were made with our new perfect placement tool. So you, they should go check that out. What's that tool, sir? It's called the Perfect Placement Tool. Perfect Placement Tool. And it helps you align your prints so you can do layer after layer and get it precise and perfect. Ah. Therefore, it's called the Perfect Placement Tool. Get it? Yes. Okay. Oh, so there we, it is. So we have here, you can see one of our tools prints in the center of your paper. So look at those prints. Okay. No cutting or anything, they're just printed in the center of the paper. Nice. And this too, our little cats are in the center of the paper. So you can achieve that now easily with our placement tools. And then we have this beautiful book that was done by Mary Bosley. I saw you. And she did all the backgrounds for all the pages with her jelly prints. So this book is just beautiful, full of jelly prints. So you can buy this on Amazon from Mary Bosley. Uh, so that's available on Amazon? Oh, cool. So these are all our plates. So we have a whole assortment of pretty plates from the tiny to the big. And we have our tools up here. And then they should check out our class packs. We've got a ton of class packs for teachers. Oh, okay. So that's what all this is. And some DIY kits for the DIYers. So you're the person to talk to. Yes. Yeah. And now we have Tracy here who is one of our artists and she is... Right, you can come and join in too if you like. I, I think we're both doing the same thing. We are. What channel are you with? I'm Nicole Watt Creates. Nicole what? Nicole Watt. Nicole okay. Watt Creates. We can have dueling. There you there. go. <laughs> we're here at Hedgehog Hollow, so you can join in as well if you'd like. I think we're just about to have a product demonstration. Yeah. Good <laughs> to meet you. There you I'm go. Nicole Watt Creates, and we're here with All our right, talk guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how we do image transfers using the Jelly Arts plate. I'm going to use our 5x7 plate, and also I'm going to use our perfect placement tool. And what I'm doing is taking images out of like fashion magazines work really great. We found best success using the high gloss, high intensity ink that come out of these magazines. And I just literally tore this out. And I'm gonna start with a thin layer of this acrylic paint. This is the Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. And I'm gonna just do a layer there. Right there, right? <laughs> okay. 
So I'm just gonna cover the plate with the brayer and I'm just gonna place this down. I like a lot of times to do um, backgrounds that have fun print and whatnot. Now I'm just lightly pressing this down. I like to make sure there's no air bubbles. And then I'm going to pull this up. Hope for a really good oh, image. Isn't that cool? It's magic. It is magic. <laughs> okay, now this layer does need to dry, so I have this handy dandy speed it up fan. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it makes the demos go faster. <laughs> So this layer dries and then I will come over with a contrasting color. What we have found with the magazine prints is when you have like black and white or contrasting colors, they show up. So print is great right out of a newspaper, or, or sorry, not a newspaper, a magazine. And so certain things work and certain don't. You can't do newspaper, but glossy magazines do work? Yes, okay. no newspapers around stuff. the print because, around the plates, because those tend to really attract and go on there. But the glossy magazines, like your National Geographics, your fashion ma uh, magazines, yeah. and also you can do image transfers with laser images that you print right from a laser printer. But okay. what, yeah, what you're going to want to do is check the intensity of your, the ink coming out of your laser printer. But you can just experiment with anything, I assume. This and if is, it works, it works. If it doesn't, and there's no, the you wash it off. It's not like anybody, yeah. And I say there are no bad prints. I never have thrown a print away. I don't, like, that's not in my vocabulary. Because you can layer and layer and layer. And the perfect placement tool makes that so easy. So now I'm going to come over with the same type of paint. This is the multi-surface paint. I've been demoing, so it's running out and we're basically going to brayer over the top of that layer and then we're gonna pull the print okay and now this is the tool Luan showed this is our perfect placement tool so you get so it is, registers where your paper goes so your print is goes in the same location every time I do need to make sure that this one kind of gets burnished down and you can use your brayer on the back if you need to. And then I say a prayer and I hope it turns out when there's video cameras. <laughs> <laughs> there's You're only two. Goods. There's only two. Okay, so far. <laughs> so far. So oh, far. This is so good. So so good. And that nifty. Yes. That is gorgeous. Ta -da. And so anything like, I, this came out of an old art book. I just feel like this is like the Da Vinci Code type stuff. Yeah. This is Sarah Jessica Parker, but these were just images that I pulled out of magazine. Yes, isn't that I cool? I love the contrast. This yep. is like pop art. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to do always white. You can do any, any light color over the top of it. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Love it. Thank you so right. much. Thank you for the opportunity. No problem. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>